Welcome back, guys, to another BAM Comics unboxing. We're going to get into this DC Rebirth Todd McFarlane Toys. Robin, DC Rebirth, 22 points of articulation inside of this beautiful window box, guys. Let's open it up. So let's just open this guy with our trusty Batarang here. Which is really good for opening up toys. I find this thing. Got this at Midtown Comics. It was a pretty cool little piece. And uh, that helps us to open up our toys. So let's see what we got here. I found this guy at GameStop. Uh, and lately I've been going to GameStop. And that's where I have been finding a lot of my collectibles and action figures. I don't mean to, but when I go into GameStop, I see the figure and I'm like, I have to have it. So what drew me to this particular figure, of course, I'm a fan of Damien. Ever since 2014's Son of Batman, where I was introduced to him, I just thought the character was so brash, so, you know, uh, this is the Son of Batman. This is Damien Wayne, okay, so this is... Uh, Bruce and Talia's son, very arrogant youngster, very cocky, very brash. That's what I always love about Damien. And here's Damien. Okay, check that out. Looking pretty sick with the colors. You're like smell test. See the thing with McFarlane toys. My first McFarlane toy was a, a Freddy Krueger. From the Movie Maniacs line. I don't know if you guys might remember that. But in the 90's. Uh, Todd. <laughs> he made these toys. Uh, based off of horror films. Uh, and they were called the Movie Maniacs. So he had a pumpkin head. Uh, he had Freddy. Jason. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. He had all of those toys. And uh, I fell in love with his uh, toys ever since that time and have collected them. And I had all, almost all of the movie maniacs and then I moved and uh, I didn't have them anymore. That's another story. But yeah, Toddy, he always makes like <clears throat> accurate to the movie or accurate to the source. His figures are one of a kind. Uh, because they're, you know, they lend themselves to that authenticity, which makes it great. It comes with a collectible card inside and a stand. And on the back, you see the artwork. There's people out there, you know who they are, the switchers, who like to, like, open packages in stores and switch out figures or, like, leave them empty. Mostly, it's coming out. You're not. That's the struggle with the unboxer. Come on, Damien. Wow. Wow. Yeah, this is, this is how he came out of this. I think fitting for his personality to be groomed to be the next Batman uh, under the tutelage of Raj al Ghul, he has this sort of royalty kind of upper crust elite mentality. It lends him to this like sort of a cocky attitude that he's better uh but he actually has a good heart underneath all of that you know he's like a little boy he wants to be really tough <laughs> no no but he is he's tough you know he's just he's like a batman but if batman were a little boy so in here you see he's he has the costume of the robin his his alter ego like his 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 real persona bruce wayne which Bruce Wayne is not cocky, but Bruce Wayne also comes from the elite family of the Waynes. And uh, it's, it's this rich, sort of like refined, traveled mentality. But on top of that, you have Raj Al Ghul, who's also raised him. So he's been raised with this sense of privilege that he it will be the next Batman. Uh, but also that... Everything he says is the rules, you know, so <laughs> he's this cocky, you know, he's very cocky and, you know, it's like, I guess he's like, uh, but he's a little kid, that's the thing, that's what makes it so funny. 
I'm not saying that Batman himself is cocky, but he is like a little Batman because he has all of the skills of already a grown Batman. Yes, there's more to learn that he has to learn, but he can fight Batman hand to hand, except like in Justice League, um, in the Apocalypse War, actually, then uh, it was discovered that when Batman actually admitted that it's not that uh, Damien was winning or Damien got the better of him, but he let Damien win. <laughs> Bruce was letting Damien win all of these years, so then when Bruce finally said, you know what, under the guise of, uh, under the uh, control of Darkseid, <laughs> Bruce was like, let's fight for real. And then when they fought for real, he destroyed Damien. But... Other than that, Damien can really hold his own, um, and also as a Teen Titan, I think the stand was a really nice touch. And guys, here's the action figure. McFarlane Toys did an amazing job on the color, okay, with his green boots and gauntlets, and also the stand includes a peg, because there's whole uh, peg holes on his feet to attach him to the base stand here. And so he has articulation joints in his in his feet, in his toes, in his on his knees. There's no ab crunch on this figure, and it's sort of like a uh, like a, pla a plastic mold, like a molding here that's for his um I guess his shirt and his cape. Well, his cape looks really good, and the detail on the face looks crazy. He comes with two of these stars, I guess these Shoryuken stars that he can throw at his enemies. And that's kind of cool. And actually the base, like you don't see it immediately, but it says DC on it, like in black. It's kind of like faded into the background of the base. How does he stand and how can you pose him in different action poses this is the real test now what hasbro does with its six inch figures which i think is really cool is that it does add an ab crunch to it and a twist in the leg so that way you can twist it but there's no twist on the leg there's also there's only a, a, a his knees bend uh the and the joints between his ankle and his foot bend and actually his his foot does bend a little bit and of course the joints on his wrists there's some ball joint there on his wrist and of course connecting his bicep to his forearm and he his head can tilt okay i guess it can tilt left it can tilt right it can look up and a little bit down but uh other than that like, in, ad well, in addition to that, the figure is really cool. And, uh, here's the collectible card, which kind of, it's really cool. It comes with a um, collectible artwork, like the card on the front, and then the data file, <laughs> which I always love when toys have, like, data files, like G.I. Joe's and stuff. Like, it says, Source, well, the Teen Titans Rebirth Number 1 Comics 2016. Real name Damian Wayne. He's five foot six, eighty-four pounds. He's the protege and crime fighting partner, more than just a sidekick. Robin is an accomplished acrobat, skilled fighter, sharp detective in his own right, and through rigorous and constant training, Robin maintains his physical edge, along with knowledge of martial arts, makes him a formidable match for even the most experienced criminals. Although he does not possess any superpowers, his discipline, training, and intelligence makes him the natural leader of the Teen Titans. So that's Damien right there. And also because of those abilities, he gets cocky as well. <laughs> you know, like, he'll be like, yeah, I can kick your butt, no problem. You know, what else you got, you know? And, and there it is. And the face, the detail on the face, it matches his attitude. So there he is, guys. That's Todd McFarlane's uh, Robin from the DC Rebirth Multiverse line. Really happy with this figure, the colors on it. It looks like 
this thing looks like it just jumped out of the pages of the comic book like like our previous one like our uh, Cyclops review this is a real top figure I wish he could have had more articulation uh, I'll see what pictures I can post up guys he doesn't have as much articulations as the other figures I have in my collection. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, share, like, comment, uh, subscribe. If you're new here, subscribe. You will be helping us out a lot by subscribing and make sure to hit those notifications for more BAM Comics. This has been your host, OC. Hope you like the video, guys. Hope you enjoy the toy unboxing. Peace, guys.